I'm gonna die soon. And knowing that has made me a lot happier. I've always been a, a very cautious overthinker. I do things that are safe. I think about all the different outcomes. And yet somehow I am halfway across the world right now. And by the end of this video, I'll be in a medieval castle dressed like a pirate. So how did it get to this? It's three weeks into our month long trip of Europe and tonight's the night, the whole reason why we're here. So about six months ago, my wife Meredith saw a TikTok about people dressing up in medieval attire, going to a castle and having a medieval ball there. And uh, she asked if I wanted to do it and I said no, because it's expensive. It's also on the other side of the world. It's in England and, and we're not. I also don't like people and I'm not very good at dancing. Like I'm actively bad at it. But luckily I had started using this idea of asking kind of my future self for advice. And my future self said that I would regret not doing this both for myself and for Meredith, even though it's scary, bad things can happen, bad things probably will happen, it's expensive, all the other reasons I talked about, I still think at the end of my life, I would regret not doing this. So we ended up uh, planning our entire trip around it. You see, over the past few months, I've been asking for help with pretty much every decision that I make, whether it's big or small, because I realized that I cannot trust myself. I'm an emotional person. I think about like what's best for me, right now, what's best for tomorrow. I think about what's easy, what's safe, what's in my comfort zone. I kind of evaluate all the risks before I do anything. It turns out that's not a good way to live life. So instead, I've started using the 100 year old rule. Imagine that you're sitting on your deathbed 50 years from now. You know that this is the end and you're gonna be gone in a matter of moments. Every opportunity you've ever had is gone and there's nothing left that you can do with your life. You're just laying there waiting to die. You'll never be able to spend time with your wife again. Your kids are grown up and they have kids and every moment of your life has passed and you're just laying here waiting for death. And then all of a sudden your room fills with this amazing light and an angel comes to you and he offers you a chance, just one chance to travel back in time to this day to live your life all over again. You open your eyes and, and you're back in your younger body. It, it's today, it's right now. Now, if you can hold on to that perspective, how would it change your attitude right now? How would it change how you interact with the people around you, the things you do, how you spend your time, the things that you worry about? How would you go through today if you knew that you would never get this day back again and it was the full final day of your life? The version of yourself that is at the end of its life really knows the value of time. We say that we value time, and yet we binge watch Netflix. We say we value time, but then we wait in line at Starbucks for 20 minutes for a cup of coffee. We say we value time, but then we doom scroll through who knows what for hours. And then we promise ourselves that tomorrow, next week, next year, we'll finally begin chasing our dreams. When we're at the end of our lives, minutes, will become precious, but the key is to understand how precious they are today, when there's still time to make those minutes matter. The 100 year old rule states that when I have a question, I look at myself as me on my deathbed in the future and ask myself what I should be doing. I ask myself for advice. And over the past couple of months, I've really noticed three main ways this has really changed how I think, how I interact, I changed my happiness levels and really got me to being here, sitting here talking to you today. And it's because of, of this rule and this idea. Steve Job once said, remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make big choices in life. Because almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away at the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. And that leads to the question, what is truly important? When I'm sitting here, I don't really have anything to do, and I just wanna chill out, have a drink, watch Netflix, just mindlessly scroll. I've been asking that 100-year-old version of myself what I should be doing. And he says, I should take this time and I should create. I should make another video. I should write something. I should call up some friends and hang out. I should spend time with my daughter or learn to play guitar. Because when I'm lying on my deathbed, I am not gonna remember what TV shows I watched, what things I've learned scrolling through TikTok or Instagram. I'm gonna remember the moments, the things that I made that I'm proud of. I'm gonna remember a comment saying that 
something that I created changed somebody's life. I'm gonna remember the little moments that I spend with my daughter and the experiences that we have together. I know that when I'm laying there, I'm gonna want more of that stuff at the end. But this idea has also helped me in the bad times. We all deal with bad times in our lives and whether your luggage gets lost and you have to shop for a whole new wardrobe or your daughter is not sleeping through the night, flights get canceled, you have a bad day at work, someone's a jerk to you. But much like Marcus Aurelius says, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. And it's so easy, especially for me, when things get hard to whip out my phone and just zone out and get away from my problems. But recently I've been asking that that future self what I should be doing. So when you're having an argument with your spouse or your kids misbehaving, I've been thinking about that 100 year old version of myself and if I only could come back to spend time with my daughter this one day, this was all I was allowed, this one time, even though things are rough, things are bad, this is all I was allowed to come back and, and see at this point in my life, how would I act differently? When you think about that, when things get rough, it makes your whole experience change. It makes you wanna put away the phone, put away the distractions, spend time with somebody, not fight about who's gonna take out the garbage. It makes it so that when I'm outside or just sitting in my car, spending time in nature or a new city, it helps me take in the things around me. What if I'm never in this place again? Because I probably won't be. What if I never see these people again? I've never have this moment back. It makes you be present but also not worrying too much about the present or tomorrow for that matter. Let me explain. For the past six years, I've not stayed up for New Year's. Fun guy, I know. But that's because I've always been thinking about the next morning, which I have come to realize over the past couple of months is incredibly stupid. Instead of thinking about the time spent with friends and the memories I would make, I've been thinking about how tomorrow for work is gonna be worse. I'm gonna be tired the next day, but when you zoom out, I'm not gonna remember the next day. I'm not gonna remember some random morning where I'm a little more tired because I spent time with friends or I went and experienced something. Even with this trip, we're not gonna remember the bad times on the plane, our luggage getting lost, the stressful days of travel. What we're gonna remember is tonight. We're gonna remember seeing things we have never seen in our lives and will probably never see again. We're gonna remember walking through a castle dressed up in medieval outfits, having a good time, making new friends, dancing like we'll never see these people again because we probably won't, at least I sure hope so. And that's what it's really about. So you're gonna die and I'm gonna die, but before that happens, I'm gonna live and I hope you will too.